curiosity. If, 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 if the power to arouse curiosity. Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can back up DVDs to your hard drive and then compress them so they can be burned to a CD. And then for this tutorial, we'll be using two free programs. And the first one is called DVD Decryptor. And it can be found at www.mrbase.org slash DVD rip. And then the second program we're going to be using is called AutoGK, short for Auto Gordian Knot, and can be found at www.autogk.me.uk. Alright, to get started, open up a web browser so that we can download these programs. And then once it's open, in the address bar, type in www.mrbase.org slash DVD rip and then hit enter. And after the page loads, find where it says set up DVD decryptor and click the link. And it should uh, prompt you to save it, so go ahead and click save. And we're just going to save it to the desktop, so click save again. And then once it's through downloading, you can check on your desktop and you'll see that it's created an install icon. Alright, now go back to your web browser and type in www.autogk.me.uk and hit enter. And this will take you to the AutoGK home page. And then on the menu to the left, you should see a link that says downloads, so click that. And find where it says full stable releases and click that. And then you should just be able to click the first link in this list because that should be the most recent version and save it. Um, save it to the desktop. And then this will take a little bit longer to download because it's a slightly larger file. But whenever it's through, we'll be uh, through using the internet so you can go ahead and close out of Internet Explorer. Then if you check your desktop now, you'll see two installer icons. Alright, go ahead and double click on DVD Decryptor and then click Run. And then click Next to start the wizard. And the default should be fine for this, so go ahead and click Next. And I don't really want a quick launch icon, so I'll uncheck that and click Next. And then Install. And this will install the DVD Decryptor program. It'll ask if you want to check for updates, but click No. And then click Finish. And then it will automatically launch the program, so you can take this time if you want to get familiar with the user interface. If not, just go ahead and close out of it. Alright, now uh, we're, we're through with the installer, so you can right click on it and delete it if you want. And the purpose of that is just to keep your desktop clean. Alright, now double click on Auto Gordian Knot and click Run. And then click Next, click I Agree, click Next again and then click install and uh, this will take a little bit longer than DVD decryptor because this installs multiple programs alright select your uh, native language and then click OK and now it will install a different program so uh, click install for that and then click close and then it will prompt you to install another program so click I agree click next and install and then click finish and it will install yet another program so click install and then click close whenever you're through with that and then click finish alright now go ahead and pop in your DVD and uh, it should come up with a menu like this so select decrypt DVD video and click OK and it will automatically load the files of your DVD into this program. And these are all the files right here. Now for the destination, click on the little folder there and select the desktop. And now we're going to just create a new folder and call it My Backup and then click OK. And uh, now you can go ahead and click the decrypt button and it will start ripping the DVD to your hard drive. If you run into any errors, it may be because your DVD is uh, write protected, and to find ways to get around that, just uh, watch the end of this video. Alright, when it's through, go ahead and click OK. And uh, now we're through with the DVD program, so you can close out of that. 
Um, then click start, go to all programs, find the auto GK folder, and uh, start that up. And once this program starts, find at the top where it says input file. And for the input file, um, you'll want to navigate to the desktop and then to your My Backup folder. And in the folder you'll see several different files, IFO and VOB. You want to select the IFO file that uh, is very similar in name to the .vob file. So select that and click open. And then for the output file, it should default to this anyway, but just check to make sure it's the My Backup folder and we'll just call it mybackup.avi and click save. Alright, and now uh, for the output size you want to select custom size and 700 megabytes if this is just a general DVD. And then click advanced options. You want to click on fixed width and set it to 640 and output you want to select VBR and 128 kbps. And for the codec, select XVID and then click OK. And then click Add Job to add, add the job to the queue. And then click Start. And it will start the process of encoding your video from DVD format to AVI. And um, to find out the status of how far along the process is, um, you can either check the log window, but a better way is just to look down here at the taskbar and it will show you what task it's on and how far along the process is. Now don't close out of any of these, just uh, keep them minimized and it'll say on the window what percentage it's at. And it will do this for the video and the audio and all the different programs um, that it has to go through. This one, for instance, is normalizing the audio, and if you're interested, you can uh, maximize these windows and just kind of follow along. Like this one uh, shows the conversion of the audio itself, which is kind of cool to watch if you want. If not, just uh, find something else to do because this will take about an hour or, three, or, or, or two. And whenever it's through, um, it'll say job finished, and it'll tell you how long it took. Mine took an hour and nine minutes and 19 seconds. But um, that's all we'll need for Auto GK, so you can go ahead and close out of it. Now, if you check your folder, you'll see the converted video in AVI format, and uh, it's good to go after that. Okay, now if you had problems with DVD decryptor, um, there's a program you can use called Rip It For Me, and this is supposed to get around certain copy protections on DVDs if you want to use it. And then if you're using a Mac, you can use the program called Handbrake to the, do this tutorial as well. That's it for this video. For more, check out Tinkernut.com.